Who is starting at quarterback? We've been dying as Canes fans. Look, we're 20 days-ish away from game day. We're facing the Gators, hardest game of our schedule. Who's starting at quarterback? Is the new transfer? Is it Perry redeeming himself? Or is this a silent but deadly Jaron Williams? You know, we don't know. We don't know. We don't, but we want to know. We Kings fans are dying to know. So my name is Anton. I do college football videos with Miami Hurricanes Focus. I'm going to be talking about the quarterback battle that is heating up in Miami. Here's the deal. I'm going to give you guys a rundown of not that this guy's going to win it, but what he's got to do to win it. We've been into fall camp, and we've seen the pros and cons of these guys, and uh, there's a certain element that they need, and I believe that if they get it, they're going to win the starting job. So starting with Tate, Tate's got to get confidence because he's up and down. When he's down, it looks bad. His balls are wobbly. He can't throw past 20 yards. I mean, just... He doesn't look like even a Division I quarterback sometimes in practice. But then other times, this guy's throwing darts. You know, he's doing the whole 10 for 10 Rutgers thing, man. Keeping drives, going alive, escaping the pocket, running for a couple of yards. He's got this macho bravado, Miami Martell, you know. He's got to have some confidence, and he's got to be consistent with it. You know, he and when he's consistent with it, and I'm going to keep saying that word, and I know you're wanting me to stop sounding like Mark Rick, but... That consistency at the quarterback level is key. That is what Danny knows and, and Manny D's are looking for. They don't care for the guy that out of one out of ten plays can run for 50 yards and when you know, this quarterback scramble or can throw once, you know, for over 60 yards, but then, you know, uh, has 50% accuracy or less. No, they're not looking for that guy. They're looking for the guy that doesn't even have to have any flashy plays, but he can get the ball. Why? To the playmakers, because they're not coaching a one-man team. They're coaching 11 guys on the field for the offense, okay? And they know the rest of those 11 guys can do things if you give them the ball. Our wide receiver core is stacked. Our running backs room is stacked. Our tight ends are best in the country, arguably. Those quarterbacks just got to give them the ball. So that's what, you know, Tate's got to do to win the starting job with Kosey. He's got to learn to read deep coverages better. We've known that before fall camp. As we see him playing and progressing, he's gotten better, but there's sometimes he still overthrows. And I want to say with both Tate and Coach Pierre, I want to mention social media. I keep seeing either the players themselves or whoever is throwing up these highlight films. Of, oh, look at this beautiful pass at it. Okay, yeah, they're not putting up all the passes that they didn't do, and they, they don't look good either, okay? You can make an argument for every one of these guys at the flash plays, but you definitely make an argument for anyone else if you look at the mistakes. They all have them. That's been kind of the problem with fall camp. It's heating up, but at the same time, they're all making mistakes. It makes you wonder, I don't know if I want him against the Gators. They're not awful and incurable mistakes, but someone's got to get confident and consistent with it. You know, Perry knows the team better than any quarterback. He's got game practice, okay? And I believe if he gets his deep ball threat skills down, um, the other thing is the, the wide receiver's got to help him out. It's easier to catch a closer ball than a deep one, okay? And Perry's strong suit is the fact that he can dart it better than anyone. He's got the strongest arm of all the quarterbacks. The thing that can give him possibly edge is on those plays that he may not be able to read the coverage perfectly or make that perfect throw, he learns the ability to, oh, let me just snap it and do a little like Tate Martell run, you know? If he does that and you look at the, you know, stat sheet, he didn't even throw it, you know, but he ran for a couple of yards and then he makes those balls that he knows he can place them in an accurate part, I mean, he's going to run away with this competition, I think. Um, Jaron, y'all know Jaron's been my guy. Um, and at the end of before fall camp started, he kind of fell off the whole battle competition talk. It seemed like he was gone out of it, and like he broke his arm or something. I don't know what was going on, but just the Tate type train and Perry type train, hype train were just flying and going off to the races, and nobody cared about Jaron. And I think that affected Jaron. I really do because. When a reporter asked, hey, oh, you know, why'd you come over here? Are you definitely going to win this job? He's like, yeah, I, won I came over to win this. But then when you asked Jaron, do you even think you're in the battle? That, it's a different tone. And that's what Jaron's been dealing with. And when he gets confidence, because he's a quieter guy than the rest, he can be the most elite quarterback of all of these guys. He's the most pro-ready QB, okay? But his thing is, in the face of adversity, he just doesn't play like he does. And that's what we saw in spring scrimmages where we saw Perry go pretty well for a two and Tate do not so great for one and pretty amazing for another. Jaron did not do that. And I think 
you know, his room for error is less than the rest. He's kind of mentioned that with, you know, perfection that Daniel's looking for. I believe after the scrimmages start coming up, he's got one or two more chances. That's it. He's got to make some news in those scrimmages. But I'll tell you guys, if he does, and the O-line is not looking completely oblique and just, you know, broken. It's tightening up. Butch Berry's getting those guys in shape. Jaron can make a run for it. This guy's been slimming down his body weight. He doesn't have a gut. He clocked in over 20 miles per hour. He even broke away for a run. This guy can run away with the competition, but he's got to gain some confidence. He's got to be consistent in doing what he can do when he's got face of adversity, hands in his face, coming up on him. That's it for me, guys. Be sure to keep it here, guys. Fall camp, news breaking all the time. We're going to be uploading all the dang time. Position breakdowns coming up for more battles, linebackers and such, some recruiting news. And get ready, Category 5, Monday, 7 p.m. See you guys there live. Peace out.